story time. So here we are on the outer edge of the Great Barrier Reef on this overnight boat. Truthfully, more of an apartment block that somehow floats. Full of crew and passengers aged between 20 and 25, having just the time of our lives. And this one day, these two Asian girls were on board and they were registered for an introductory scuba dive. Now, for those of you who don't know, an introductory dive is basically just going for your first ever scuba dive without having done your PADI certification with an instructor who's gonna run you through the basics and hold your hand as you go. So after some epic dives, we arrive at this spot that's just perfect for intros. It's just crystal clear blue water, shallow reefs, and just calm water as far as you can see. And uh, we get these two girls ready, me and my friend Kat, and we get them ready, we get them all in their gear, we take them down to the dive deck, and they're sitting on the edge, putting their fins on, which is, which is when they say, excuse me, we don't know how to swim. They continue to share that not only can they not swim, but it's also the first time they've ever seen the ocean. So after figuring out what's going on and having a further chat with them about their experience in the ocean, which we uh, we get in the water, that they're still keen, we're still keen. It's totally in the rule book to be able to take someone for their first dive with an instructor, um, even though they can't swim. So with that, we were off. And uh, we get them in the water and they're just floating there. They've got big smiles on their face. They seem, to, they, they seem to be enjoying it. So we take them down. We've got this, uh, this drop bar um, just under the dive deck. It's this big metal bar, it sits about three meters deep, um, tied on by bits of rope, and we hold on to that bar under the boat uh, while we do these skills that we have to do on every intro dive, just to make sure that if something does happen, like your mask gets a bit of water in it, that we can fix it while we're underwater. And um, these skills usually take about five minutes for people who are even confident in the ocean, you know? But these two girls, they're hanging onto the line, just first take. Each skill, they're just, we, we demonstrate, they repeat, and just nail. And uh, at this point, there's basically nothing left to do, nothing left for us to sort of, uh, are you sure, you know? So we go down, we, we hold onto them, cats holding onto their tanks and their arms. Um, just to, you know, guide them, keep them safe, keep a hand on them if anything happens. And we're taking them down, taking them underwater. We hit about six, seven meters, the start of this, uh, this coral wall, right? And um, they're loving it. They're giving us the okays, they're giving us the shakas. They're in this state of awe. So we, we carry on for a little bit and we drop down to this like 10 meter patch. And on the right hand side, there's just a drop off to maybe 30, 40 meters deep. Just straight down and on the left and just a little bay underneath is just colorful coral as far as you can see. And these girls are just in this state of complete awe, you know, their eyes are literally like popping out of their mask. They've got this massive smile. You can see it through their regulator. And this is where it gets really interesting. All of a sudden they both just almost simultaneously start kicking. Their arms start going in this breaststroke motion and they're off. You know, we're still holding on, but they're, they're pulling ahead. They've somehow in the last 10 minutes just learnt how to swim. So now we're about 15 minutes into the dive. They're just, they're nailing it somehow. So we let go. And here we are. These two girls that can't swim are now free. 10 meters beneath the surface on their first ever scuba dive, surrounded by coral and fish. And they're free. They're, they're floating through this zero gravity field of water. And the look on their face is just, it's, it's really hard to put words to. It's infectious, it's really infectious. So, no, you don't have to know how to swim to try scuba diving. And to anyone out there, I, there's a lot of you, I get asked this question a lot. To anyone out there who's nervous about the ocean, nervous about their abilities in the water, don't be. Trust your instructor and take the plunge. I hope you all enjoyed that story. And if this is something that you do want to hear more of, I have countless more stories, some of which I may need a beer or two to spill the beans, but if you want to hear them, let me know down below. And uh, until next time, take the plunge.